Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring on this sunny day of 22nd of uh, February, Monday, uh, technically it's afternoon, not a good morning, also Niki Lauda's birthday, I have to say, yeah, uh, but in any case, I'm very excited to be making today's video. First of all, because the weather is amazing after having frost and snow, etc. We now have nice uh, autumn, almost even summer weather. And I'll be going out on my grape bike for the first couple of months again. Don't worry, it's not going to be a biker vlog again. No, because as the title of this video suggests, I will be taking you around the track and showing you how you can get to all those Nürburgring spectator spots. Now, one very simple thing you need to know is that unlike any any, pretty much any uh, racetrack in the world, including the GP track of the Nürburgring, to the Nordschleife, it's very easy to get access. All the spots are connected with public roads, with the mountain bike pass or like the, the hiker passes. So as long as you just use simply Google Maps, and you look up the corner name and you say, yeah, I want to go there, you will find how to get there from the nearest um, parking lot or the public road. And this is what we're going to be doing today. So I will be stopping at certain spots, showing you how it looks like, including the Google Maps links in the video description and also the route from the nearest, so to say, public area, whether it's a public road or an official parking spot, etc. So I guess let's get going. And we start at T13. This is our first access point towards Hatzenbach. We're gonna call it number two, and number one of GPS locations or the Google Maps locations is going to be Apex for the convenience because we started this video at Apex. As you can see, you have here the public road, you have the BMW test center over there, you have a small parking area over there where you could technically park, and if you want to do some prototype car spotting during industry pool, sometimes it's okay to park here or here, but kind of gray zone area if you're gonna get towed away yeah I didn't tell you to park there so basically park somewhere get here and this is the first access point which will take you to T13 which is over here and it's obviously famous for all the lap record attempts that I'm filming because the start and finish stop point is over there you can also do lots of good industry pool car spotting here because the cars are coming from behind the orange barrier entering the track here then you have a very nice outlook I'm sorry for the wind but yeah you have a very nice overview and then from here you can continue walking alongside of the track or cycling and then we'll take you along the track along with many other cool points so let's proceed to Hatzenbach the majority of you know this spot as one of the most favorite spectator spots of the VLN slash NLS audience because you can see the earth is kind of scorched from many campfires that usually take place here for the barbecues and you have a very nice spectating spot from here you can see cars approaching towards here you can come closer and watch them from closer over here and then you see them going towards Kudabakehu and Flugplatz. Now I have to say that this spot, it's easier to access from Kudabakehu parking, where we're gonna go in a bit, uh, but you can also just walk a long path, the whole Hatzenbach. It will take you from BMW M test center, I would say roughly 20 minutes walking to here, or about five to seven minutes from the Kudabakehu parking spot over there, where we're gonna go there, but first I'm going to show you the Kudabacher Höhe, which is one of my favorite spots of spotting during uh, industry pool because cars get very close to the fence. That's shit, quite literally. Yeah, usually you see me pick up random trash and throw it in the garbage bins that are here, the trash that people are sometimes too lazy to pick up, but and I think I'll manage to pick up a toilet on my own. Hmm, this path looks a lot more different than the last time I saw it here. But anyway, we're not talking about the path here, we're talking about the track and the spectator spots, how to get to them. I mentioned previously, this is Kudabakehu, this is actually more Hochheichen. Uh, Kudabakehu is more down there. But as mentioned, this is my favorite spot when it comes to spectating prototypes, because, because of the track tra trajectory, or to say the ideal line, the cars have to come close very on the curbstone. You can even see that they're running off the curbstone on the track over there for example 
and this means is that you have all the action coming very close to you uh, while still maintaining the safety rules standing behind the safety zone etc so this is a very nice spot but the best way would be to go to the Quidobacher uh, parking a lot and then walk here within I would say less than five minutes so the previous shot was taken from there and we are now at the Kudobacher parking lot, which is usually completely full with cars when the VLN or NLS race are taking place, or let alone N24. So if you want to watch the race from here, when spectating will be allowed again, you really have to come here like an hour in advance before the start of the race, because it will be all full with cars. But if you just want to watch Tourism Fountain or the industry pool or track days, you can easily park up here, walk towards there. Within five minutes, you are at Kudobacher or further down towards Hatzenbach. And the other opposite direction is towards Flugplatz, Schwedenkreuz, Foxhall, of course, as well, Arenberg in between. So long story short, check out the Google Maps in the link description to see the attached link towards this location. And now let's proceed to the, well, to the further sections. Less than two minutes walking from the spot where I was standing previously, you will arrive to this Kudobacher. It's not a spectator uh, spot, but during industry pool, the cars are going again flat out here, and it's sometimes nice to hear their exhaust sounds. But it's officially not really a spectator spot, but no one is going to say anything because you are safe here. And follow that path. If you are walking, it's going to be probably 15 to 20 minutes towards Schwedenkreuz. So let's go there. This is Schwedenkreuz, but all I want to say is that this is a full-on safety zone. This is why you will not see any race tracker photographers here. There are also no holes to actually spectate through. You can stop here and see the cars flying past, but yeah, you will hear something. This is not the ideal spot. Uh, but let's continue on to see the actual uh, Swedish cross after which this section is named. However, a quick mention before we do that, since I brought up Race Tracker, when I made the video explaining the Race Tracker photography, there were lots of questions about whether you can just go and take pictures. Yes, of course, you can go take pictures. You can take pictures from here, no problem. Also through the holes and the fences that uh, I showed to you previously. But if you want to stand behind that fence, close to the barrier over there, then you need to be officially accredited it as a race tracker photographer that's a different story it involves lots of uh, safety insurance etc etc uh, this is why those are two different spots but if you as just a spectator want to take some pictures or even videos from here be everyone's guest be Nürburgring's guest just enjoy yourself yeah create memories here we are the Swedish cross that stands here for already over five centuries um, yeah just in case you're wondering how to get here check out the video description and from here you also have a pretty nice spectating area but I think it's more interesting to go to Arenberg and later on Poststrasse. Breaking zone into Arenberg that you can spectate either from here or go on top of Poststrasse and look downhill into the Foxhall. Top of the bridge very easily accessible so you can look in the opposite direction or of course over there but as you can see you have a big high wall so you wouldn't be able to actually look over there so it's kind of useless to be here and spectate unless you just like me want to use the camera and film something happening so yeah but this is here in case you're wondering how to get here check out the video description and then of course the bottom of foxhole which is kind of off limits for spectators so if the race is happening you can watch from here it's no problem but marshals would be standing there and you're not allowed the passage beyond this point but still you can see all the cars going through the compression but you'll be probably better off watching it more higher up at exit foxhole or at i don't know forced during tf probably marshall will be standing here as well industry pool so i mean yeah better obey the rules don't risk it don't go there where you shouldn't be unless again of course if you're accredited with accreditation of race tracker is still not allowed to be there with races in the past it was okay to be pretty much anywhere um, but now they might be a bit more stricter as well but anyhow just some side note but uh, even here nice sounds nice cars when it is driving in less than two weeks time very excited let's go up to i don't know first and this is of course one of the youtube corners where inexperienced drivers who don't know the track would go straight over the grass so in this case watching industry pool could be nice watching races could be nice but i think you want to see well people go over the grass and in this case this is a great spot for spectating tf now one thing we haven't seen any public parking lot in a while this is correct 
the nearest parking lot to get from here or to the other places if you go in the opposite direction would be in Adenau. During TF it is open most of the time so you can drive up here during the races it is closed the access point to it so you need to park close to the high school of Adenau and then walk up all the way here if you have average stamina or let's say if you have bad stamina you're gonna have bad time be prepared it's going to be a very good uh, lag workout for you because it's very steep but you will be blessed with some amazing views here of course I'm not gonna go all the way down there because I want to finish the rest of the route before it's gonna get dark but you can find the access point again as mentioned in the video description where you can park up your car or alternatively come all the way here and now proceed to hmm, Colin Hart oh that's new what a view but in any case to be able to go to Cullen Hart or actually even Metzgesfeld we need to go to the other side of the track and as you can see we have a tunnel here which some of you may know as a tunnel where a family was living during the World War II and a lot of people have asked how to get to this tunnel well you know it video description ah is that a lip of something probably ah one of the construction workers no it's actually a service vehicle for the gardening so maybe they're cutting some hedges before the season opener but we are at Metzgesfeld and mark this location because this is one of the hidden gems because it's for some reason relatively unpopular because first of all it's of course difficult to get here but second of all everyone of course knows the YouTube corner bridge and Adenau Forest Metzgesfeld what is Metzgesfeld this is Metzgesfeld and the reason why it's so awesome because you have such a great view cars approaching straight towards you on the brakes then proceeding going towards Colin Hart or James left beforehand yeah this is James left and then James right amazing area covered with trees so whenever you're here on a hot summer day you have plenty of shade it's great to watch uh, you can set your chairs here and just spectate or walk up closer and enjoy the view through the uh, photography uh, fence hole so to say again video description how to get here probably you can get here maybe easier from the other side i don't know maybe someone from the race tracker photographers can tell me if there's an easier way of getting here than through all that way through the tunnel and back here pretty sure there's another way but as mentioned at the beginning of this video check out google maps how how to get here there's probably a shorter way maybe i will include it in the video description as well and there you have also a very nice view of the castle that's beautiful Further down the path you will be arriving at Colin Hart, again also one of the more exclusive spots because it's just simply not favored by many people, you have very good view over the tarmac which was late over uh, 2018 to 2019, however I need to correct myself, sometimes it is favored by some assholes, why? No, it's corona and shit but yeah let's just try to find some better spot for this fuck me further down from Cullen Hart well a lot more impressive is the spectating area over here towards Spiegelkurve or Piff Puff this is such an amazing view especially if you come here with a more professional camera even with a mobile phone of nowadays you can take some nice shot of the traffic a bit further down on the track amazing view absolutely breathtaking as mentioned previously enough shade if you are going to be spectating here you also have some nice logs here probably for children to stand on and watch or even for yourself and fuck am i really gonna be picking up trash after everyone here <sighs> right any case before i'm gonna get mad let's proceed to vesif and hopefully we'll find some trash bins there then of course Beersiphon, one of the most remarkable spectator areas, I would say most remarkable corners, the beautiful S and over there you see also X Mühle, the climb, very beautiful. So yeah, pretty easy to access, also you get to see the cars relatively close up here, this is still official spectator area, you cannot go beyond that point unless again you're a photographer um yeah but very nice to access and look at that what a spot there trash bins let's go there plastic and the cans go in the yellow bin oh look nature is coming alive again what's more frustrating is with the previous two cases of that bottle and a can that was kind of understandable but come on like what five meters from the trash bin this is so annoying and 
as mentioned, in the, I'm sorry for completely going off topic, but I mentioned you can access everything here on the Nordschleife, for all the spectator areas. It's not closed off like any other racetrack in the world. But this might change. Why are the prices constantly increasing for N24? Because people make a mess and someone needs to get paid to clean this up. Right, uh, enough with the rant. Let me clear, clean up that thing over there in a bit, but first show you the amazing other view that you get here from Wehrseifen. And uh, yeah, after that we proceed towards Breitscheid, which is going to be the, the next public accessible area where you can park the car or get some food. Descent towards Breitscheid, the second entrance and exit point. Uh, outside the times of Corona, of course, and my favorite wall, of course, have to mention, with a view towards Exmude over there. Parking lots over there, including the Café zu Nordschleife, where you can get amazing schnitzel. A lot of people commented on the last time I mentioned it. How can you not mention cockpit with amazing currywurst? Of course, cockpit over there and Café zu Nordschleife there for schnitzel or currywurst. You make the decision or try them both. I mean, also at the same time, if you have the space for it. Amazing food, amazing cuisine. Also Apex Media office over there. But this is another public area where you can park your car and get here. Also, Venti set. Yes, a favorite Italian restaurant where you can get amazing tiramisu, pizza, etc. Hopefully they will open up soon because, yeah, we need some variety. We need some variety. Um, other than that, I think we are now at the half of our lap. So it gives us a good opportunity to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Nuka-Cola. If you are thirsty and need some more radiation in your life, right. Hope people get the reference because this is not, not a real product, but a computer game. We don't do brand deals. We do kind of brand deals, but we don't do this type of bullshit. Uh, anyway, let's proceed to the other section of the track. Just for your reference, we were up there. And here again, Café zu Nordschleife and Cockpit. And over there, Ventisette, GT3 RS if you want some. Or Apex Taxi. Hmm, we should replace for something else. But no, we still have taxis, just on track days. And we'll still be able to offer taxis through Ring Taxi. So, in case you missed the news. And of course, also the second entrance and exit, which hopefully will be open later this year at some point. Over there, you have a small parking lot, the location of which you can find in the video description, where you would park and then walk towards there, underneath the tunnel, and you would end up on the other side of the track, because this is the track, and you will end up at Lauda Links. Now, as mentioned, today it would have been Niki Lauda's 72nd birthday. So just another side note, this is a pond uh, which comes out of the X Creek, an X with EX. This is also after which the X Mühle has been renamed, uh, not renamed, but named after. Um, just some uh, side info. We're gonna go towards Bergwerk. Yes, Speedy Boy. Uh, Fiesta STs, the Honda Civics of the 20s. The X Creek is currently very powerful, probably because of all the melting ice from the last couple of weeks and accumulated water. But anyway, we are here at Berkwerk, and as you can see, there you have a fence. So officially, it's not allowed to get up there. You can, of course, kind of sneak through it, uh, but maybe at some point Marshall will call the or stop by and tell you to go away. But the reason why I'm mentioning this location is in case you want to bike or hike along the path towards Klosetal or Kesselschen or even Carousel, then this is the location where you need to go. This section of Kesselschen is also pretty exclusive, I would say, when it comes to spectating because it's fairly remote. So if you want to stand here on a log or by yourself watching prototypes flying full throttle, then this is the place to be. Or tourists of Farten or races, of course. And also notice how this section of the track and actually this whole section as well because is wet because my bike is also wet. So I, there goes my mud-free <laughs> attempt to, uh, to ride. So this shows again that every section of the track can have completely different environment interesting to see just a reminder when you start driving the track always do first recon lap to see how the track conditions are don't assume that because the track is dry 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 that is going to be dry the whole track after castle shin close the tile and mood curve you will arrive at steistrake 
and look how beautiful this section is. Now I must say that the climb towards Tide Striker from Berkrek is pretty exhausting. Even on an e-bike it can be pretty challenging I would say. So walking or cycling with a normal push bike if you don't have much experience um, see for yourself I would say. It's a bit just like I'm warning you. But anyhow easier would be to get here if you go first to Brunchen and then walk downhill from here uh, from Brunchen towards here and then you can also access the carousel and then continue way back where we just came from or go back in the towards brunch in this case what we're gonna be going towards you still understanding it good um, we can go to the carousel but honestly this is one of the mm, least exciting spectator spots I mean because the cars traveling relatively slow but uh, yeah let's go there uh, no I got distracted by how big would that be would it be like 12 inch maybe is that a mini wheel could be a toy car, but it could be an actual car wheel. Who knows? From a long time ago, maybe something else. Maybe not even a wheel. Right. Sorry, I got distracted. Didn't make it to the carousel. Let's go towards Whipperman. I wish the wheel would have been more distracting than all the trash, 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 all the freaking trash. I mean, come on, people. If you can bring it with you, you can also take it back. Unfortunately, I don't have many hands and pockets to take all of that annoying and of course this is also how you get to the Steistrecke that is even more impressive the most impressive climb of the whole of Nürburgring if you can manage that fast forward to Wippemann and of course famous for the Wippemann challenge this spot is easiest accessible when you park at Brunchen parking lot and walk up here and also from here towards Hohe Acht and also Steistrecke basically all the way from Hohe Acht towards the end of the track this is probably the most spectacular section to spectate and to drive of course as well so uh, let's proceed to Brunchen and also this is my favorite downhill section my favorite after Foxhole downhill with the mountain bike it makes lots of fun you get crazy high speeds here as well and just like with the track lots of jumps lots of routes makes it very exciting the parking lot of Brunchen even off season you can find some abandoned E36 there yeah should require no further introduction uh, also link in the video description how to get here to the main the most famous spectator area of the Nürburgring this is Brunchen 1 over there is Brunchen 2 from where auto addiction is usually filming so yeah that's where we're gonna go next and after that proceed to Flansgarden and I really want to do a lap this year in the Beast of the Green Hell the AMG Black Series and voila, Brunchen 2. You can either park up on the main parking of Brunchen 1. On the opposite side of the road, there is also another big parking lot where you can park up and walk here. Or sometimes people park alongside the road. To be honest, I'm not a fan of that, but on a not so busy day, you could do that. Walk down here and enjoy the atmosphere. Flans Garden, of course, famous for the jump pictures over here that you see of many cars being posted on social media. Also, overall, just a very nice view. Over there, you have the main very big parking lot, which is also being used as camping ground among with this one during N24. And link to that you can find in the video description, as you already know. Great site, but Flans Garden 2 is where you want to be. Again, relatively remote, not remote, unknown place, because from here it's about five to 10 minute walk, but the view, that's amazing. So let's go there. Some people enjoying walking on the track while it's still possible. So Flans Garden 2, unfortunately, this is beyond the safety zone, but we have a nice bench there, which is made for a marshal post over here. And there's even is that, is that a, hmm, looks like a car horn or something. But although you're not officially allowed to be here, you should be behind the fence, but you can still get cars going through the corner, sideways in the air, flat out, going towards Bell of S. This is the most adrenaline invoking section to spectate, I think. So come over there, well, to the other side of the fence, let's go there. I would even say that from this side of the fence, you can see 
more you can see the complete jump from here and then the car going towards Belafast again this is an amazing section so come here and thank me later in the comments honestly I, whoever has never been here go here once during the year or upcoming years and let me know in one of my following videos if you made it here and what you think of it whenever a naturally aspirated car is flying through here goosebumps every single time hands down my favorite place to spectate here Belafest, also nice spot because cars are going flat out here before breaking into Schwabenschwanz. You have the public road here where you can park alongside. There's also a couple of like very small parking lots where you could park or sometimes you can even make it up to here and walk up here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And now towards our final destination, which is the mini carousel or more officially Schwabenschwanz towards Gangenkopf also area full of action over here and through here you can actually see bell of s over there where we just were yep there you have it and now let's go to the access point towards mini carousel which is further down the road just a random encounter last ice of the season hopefully because it can also hail in june we know the nova crane we know the eiffel and we have arrived at our last reference point. So that path is where you go towards the mini carousel, Schwabenschwanz, and before that, of course, Galenkopf, where we were. This area over here, you could park up during Tristan during track days, during races. There is a marshal here that would not let you through. But there is like sort of parking area over there, further down the road, the road towards Arenau. So you could park up there. That's pretty much it. Over there you have the gantry, this is the main straight, and there you have the castle, so that's the main straight. How can you get to the main straight? From here it's difficult, because uh, there is of course like uh, lots of fencing in between, but you could go to ED gas station, which is over there, and I'll include the G GPS locations of that as well in the video description. You can go there and cross the road safely, of course, and you could look at the main straight. But there is, to be honest, not much to see uh, on TF. There's only traffic jam during track days. It could be interesting during races as well. And the final location, which I will include, is going to be the ticket office and TF entrance, the entrance for the public session Nürburgring. Something that I'm very excited I'm about to enter uh, in two weeks time, less than two weeks time on 6th of March. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it was long, but I didn't want to split it up in four parts, just in one video. Whenever someone asks, how can you get to a certain spectator area here, timeline, all in the description, you can check it out. But apart from all those things as mentioned previously just use google maps just see walk along the track and see for look and explore for cool locations that you otherwise wouldn't see this is the beauty of Nürburgring it will always keep and surprise you another tip come with two cars so with, with a group of friends with two cars uh, and park one car on one side of the track and with the other car you drive to the other uh, side of the track and then you walk half the track with, which would roughly uh, take you about three hours maybe uh, towards the other car and then you take the other car and drive back and that's how you do it so um, that's just like a, a small tip if you're gonna go here for half a day and you want to enjoy the track and walk and um, just more than uh, spectate and just be a bit active that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video one more note to race tracker photographers in case you're watching i hope some of you are going to be at flans garden 2 this year because as mentioned this is my favorite corner and also i encourage you guys to try out new areas because last year when the partnership was allowed when it became the first year of official partnership between nubukring and race tracker it was amazing to see so many cool new angers uh, angles not angers and i hope you guys keep on exploring improving and looking forward to pictures to driving right starting st starting to talk nonsense and off topic hope you guys enjoyed this video have a good day i'm off home to edit render upload and everything bye